Yo, what's going on, guys? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Broadway here again with another video, man. And today, I came to talk that it's Sunday. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of want to switch some things up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all that's been here with me, y'all know that I make a lot of uh, motivational videos. So today is Sunday. Um, I already had church today. I'm feeling good. I'm pumped up, man. And I just want to talk to y'all about something today. Uh, it's not necessarily what... Uh, I went uh, that I learned today during the church service, but at the same time, it's just something that is really always on my mind, especially like when I'm watching other people, you know, live their lives and things like that. And today, man, I want to come talk to you guys today about taking life serious. You know what I'm saying? Um, for the most part, you know, a lot of people don't really take life as serious as they should, you know, and for me personally, it took me till I was the age of, I believe it was 21. Uh, I'm 25 now for a lot of y'all that don't know, you know what I'm saying? But I think when I hit 21, or really, I think it was, I really think it was like age 20. Cause like for me, I'm an old soul, bro. So like for me, bro, a lot of things come to me a lot faster than, you know, certain people, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like the wisdom and knowledge I have is something I've, always had you know what i'm saying it's just it was instilled in me but uh that's kind of like why i grew up at a at an early age you know what i'm saying and a lot of people always used to be like man you different you know um just keep doing what you're doing i don't see nobody else doing what you're doing and things like that of that nature but honestly man of all seriousness guys you guys must understand man that Life is not to be taken for granted, man. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of people, they must understand it. And I feel like a lot of people don't. And for the reason being, who knows? You know what I'm saying? I don't really think a lot of people know. You know what I'm saying? But for the, I just, I don't know, man. It's like for me, I value my family. I value my life. I thank God every day I wake up, man. And even throughout the day, man, that, you know, I'm breathing, I'm living, I'm healthy. And, you know, I'm blessed, man. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like overall, after we get done with this video, it's more so about just knowing that you're blessed. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't even imagine leaving this earth. You know what I'm saying? And never being able to see my family again. My mom, my dad, my sister, my grandmother. You know what I'm saying? I could never imagine it. But it seemed like... And I'm not saying that, you know, people should be afraid of death or anything like that, because I used to be. And to some extent, I still am. But for the most part, it's like life is so precious, bro. And you have one opportunity, bro. God gave us one opportunity to come and experience what we call life. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like if you were blessed to be able to come experience this lifestyle as a human being because you know we're all souls you know i don't want to get too deep into that you know what i'm saying because you know how some folks is but for the most part man we are all souls bro and we're from the spiritual realm we're not from this reality that we're living in today and I think people get caught up in not really realizing it. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I'm very passionate about talking about this because people have to open their eyes up and understand how important life is, bro. You have an opportunity to live life. You know what I'm saying? For all my guys and women out there that's locked up in jail, in prison, the decision you made to do that or whatever you did, was it really worth it? You know what I'm saying? Ask yourself, was it really worth it? You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, and I don't really want to speak this into existence, but if I was to ever have to go to jail, it's going to be because I was trying to uh, uh, take care of my family in the sense of if somebody was trying to harm my family or somebody did harm my family, you know what I'm saying? Of that nature, you know I got to get on their ass. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm not going. I don't think nobody going, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to the ones that they love. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only time I really feel like if I was to ever go to jail, that would be a reason. It's because I'm trying to protect my family. You know what I'm saying? But ask yourself, decisions, bro, the decisions we make in life, 
shapes our reality. You know what I'm saying? So what am I saying? Every day that you wake up, the decisions you choose to do, if you know, say, for instance, if you're in school, if you know you got a project due coming up in two weeks and you procrastinate the whole entire time until it's time to do that. Now, all of a sudden, you kind of, you you find yourself rushing and trying to get the project done so you can make sure you turn it in and get a good grade. But it's the decision that you made to wait to the end of the deadline to try to do what you know you were supposed to do two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about decision making, man. You know what I'm saying? So. When you think about those things, understand that the decision that you make can shape your reality. And once you understand that, your life will start to go far. It will start to expand. It'll start to do things that you never seen yourself doing, you know? So, um, in essence, I just want people to understand the value of life. You know what I'm saying? You was put here to do great things. You wasn't put here to struggle. You wasn't put here to... Man, be on food stamps. You wasn't put here to live an average life. You're not average. You know what I'm saying? You're not average. And if you think you're average, you need to change your mindset because that right there is what's keeping you from God's biggest blessing. You know what I'm saying? And to me, I feel like just for my example, I can only use the examples that I've either experienced or examples that I've learned from other people. And with that being said, man, you must understand that it gets crazy out here and i know for me man it's some decisions i made in life that i really wasn't i really didn't want to like a lot of decisions i made in life too also was made by haste you know what i'm saying i i was making quick decisions i didn't really put a lot of time or thought into it or anything like that so for me i'm the type of person that learns from my mistakes i don't think a lot of people learn from their mistakes because they continue to go through those same problems that could have been solved once you learn that you're not supposed to go through that anymore you know what i'm saying and for me i wake up every day with a purpose man and that's to pursue what i feel like i'm here to do you know what i'm saying and i just want to help people bruh to help them understand how important it is to live your life you know what i'm saying don't live your life for nobody else don't live your life for your family don't live your life for your friends don't try to live your life for your haters live your life for you man you know what i'm saying because this is your life bro you know what i'm saying this is your life so you must all i'm saying at the end of the day bro if you watching this video bro i want you guys to really hear me out on this and you know what i'm saying um i want you to share this video i want you to like this video uh if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe man new content dropping every week bro you know what i'm saying it might be two three times a week you know what i'm saying i will eventually have a schedule for you guys but for the most part right now i don't but anyway scratch that let's get back into what i was talking about so I feel like, I'm going to tell you guys what I feel like my purpose is. Maybe it'll help you guys out. I feel like my purpose is to inspire, motivate, and entertain millions of people. That's what I truly feel like. I've always felt that way since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I've always had these visions. Uh, to some extent, I may, be, I may be a visionary, but I don't get visions like that very often. But... I have seen glimpses of me being successful or going through certain things in life before it even happened. You know what I'm saying? It sounds weird, but hear me out. So by inspiring people every day, it gives me a sense of peace. You know what I'm saying? I feel like your purpose should be something that is natural. You know what I'm saying? If you love to cook, bruh, you may be here on earth to cook for people. You know what I'm saying? If it's not all about entertainment. It's not always about being in the spotlight. You know, I feel like nowadays we so caught up in trying to be famous that just your purpose doesn't have to put you in the spotlight. And I want people to understand it. Everybody's purpose is not to be in the spotlight. Everybody, you know, 
An uh, OG once told me one time that death is a part of certain people's purpose. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. anyways, man, basically back to what I was saying. You know, sometimes people that die in our life or pass away, it was for a purpose. You know, sometimes people end up elevating sometimes when they uh, have a loved one or somebody that they know pass away and things like that, you know. People play a certain part in your life. That's why every everything has a purpose. Everything. Everything has a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Even when you think it doesn't. But uh, that's pretty much it, man, on this video, man. I don't want to make it too long. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is at the end of the day, guys, take life serious. Don't look at life. Don't take life for granted because it could easily easily be taken away from you guys and i know you guys don't want that to happen you know what i'm saying and i rem for all my people that's going through uh depression right now or uh anxiety and things like that and feel like they don't want to be here don't be like that don't be selfish you know what i'm saying Think about the people that care about you. Think about all the... You might think that people don't care about you, but you got people that care about you, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much it in this video, man. I just want you guys to understand how life can really change for you once you change your mindset and put certain things into perspective. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just here doing what I feel like I'm here to do, man. You know what I'm saying? And... Uh, a lot of times, you know, I find myself hurt, you know what I'm saying, on this journey because, you know, sometimes we feel like we should be further than where we are. Sometimes we feel like things should happen now instead of later. But in all honesty, I'm very, very happy at where I'm at in my life right now because right now I feel like I can achieve anything that I put my mind to. Anything, bro. So make sure y'all check out this video, man. Watch the whole video, bro. Watch the whole video because you need this. And if you feel like this, is, this isn't for you, then somebody else needs this video. So make sure y'all share this video. Make sure y'all like this video, man. Um, let me go ahead and get up out of here because dude over here want to cut his grass so I don't need all that noise in my video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Uh, all my new subscribers, welcome to the Food Gang, man. You know what I'm saying? We lit. We turned up. You know what I'm saying? FGE in the building. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, man. But I see y'all in my next video, man. I'm out, Food Gang. Peace.